Americans and Europeans, we've had a lot more to scuffle over since President Trump began shaking up U.S. foreign policy. Let's break it down. Three points. First, diplomacy. There was, for example, Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord, a move that hardened his base as part of Trump's pledge to bolster American industry. Europeans didn't like it. Second, economics. Trump ordered tariffs on European steel. Same deal, America first is a driving philosophy of this White House. Third, security. There was public doubts about the value of NATO, the US-European military alliance, and his charge that other members were free riding on American generosity. Of course, some argue that kind of criticism was long overdue, but here's the thing. All three come to a head when you're talking about Iran and that controversial nuclear deal. In a couple of weeks, U.S. sanctions will get much tighter. Their impact on Iran's economy probably mean that the deal is about to die. And that will only add to the growing bitterness in U.S.-European relations.